makes me really upset to think that the media or other people are just judging them simplistically on their looks. And what I have found is that the girls are very interesting, talented in many ways, and they're athletes. My name is Michaela O'Brien and I am 17 years old. My name is Nicole Stein and I am 16. My name is Isa Quinteros and I am 16 years old. I've been doing cheerleading for nine years now. I did not actually have a background in gymnastics. I just got into it because my sisters were like, you have to do it, like it's in our blood. My name's Donna. I am the head coach here at Terra Linda High School for our cheer program. My name is Shauna Hoke and I am the cheerleading coach here at San Rafael High School. Donna and I have known each other since coaching youth cheer for years. So when both of us were having trouble getting assistant coaches, we had this crazy idea. You know, why don't we coach together, both teams? And it's a great dynamic. I have very high expectations for my uh, student athletes. But I think that that translates into success, not only, you know, as an athlete and a cheerleader, but in the classroom and, you know, it builds strong human beings. At San Rafael, I learned pretty much everything from that coach. I had the opportunity to coach Darby from the time she was six years old all the way through her high school career. I use every skill that I've learned through cheer and apply it to life. Just like work ethic, responsibility, leadership, I've learned so much. That was really exciting uh, when she made the team at Cal. She is the first girl that's been able to cheer in a really big football-oriented school. Nationals is one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten to do. I was at Nationals all four years and we placed very well. This year we made finals and we won Nationals. <laughs> They hit their routine flawlessly and they were absolutely over the moon. We all cried. Um, we, all, we always tell them there's no tears in cheerleading unless they're tears of joy. And that night there were plenty of tears of joy. Being able to like know that you're, everything that you put in through the whole season hadn't gone to waste. It was amazing. I noticed that it was hard for me when I, I went to a promotional event and I met a very adored athlete and I introduced myself to him and the way he looked at me that was a little bit more of a sexualized way, I realized that the, the uniform just allowed people to treat me or look at me in a very simplistic view. Until you've come into the room and watched our practices or gone through the tryout process, um, you really have no idea um, what the athletic level is of our sport. We have a very strenuous conditioning program. It's not a sport where if you miss a catch, all you drop is a ball. You're dropping a human. And if you're not an athlete, I don't think you can do it. I started cheerleading when I was in fifth grade. And one day in class, the guy was like, hey, like, I know you do cheerleading. Let's arm wrestle. And then within the first five seconds, my arm goes whoops. And he's like, what just happened? After another and after another, each guy like came and I beat them all. And it was just really empowering to know that I could do that. Last year, I had a girl who took a year off to play basketball here at the high school level. And she came back to me and said that she had told um, her coaches that she worked much harder as a cheerleader than she did as a member of our basketball team. I'm the type of person who goes to school in hiking boots. I wear ripped jeans and a flannel. They look at me and think I'm a hippie, but when I tell them that I'm a cheerleader, they're shocked. They're like, aren't cheerleaders supposed to be like dumb blondes that have low grades and are all about themselves, but it's like, no, I don't do that. I'm thrilled to see that there's young girls and boys that are changing the image of cheerleading. I'm my own person, and 
I want to do cheer because I love cheer, not because I want to look cool and be popular. My experience on the San Francisco 49ers was completely positive. It was like coming home for me. We're always, always with each other and we just become so close. It builds friendships with people from all different walks of life. People that ordinarily you might just walk down the hall and never even know their name become your best friends um, and your family. It really helps kids grow in a lot of ways outside of what they're doing in this room or on the sidelines.